The technology behind using compressed natural gas, or CNG, as a vehicle fuel is becoming easier to use and install. New innovations and investments in technology are increasing public interest. Gas compression specialists like Angie Energy Systems and conversion centers like OEM Systems are seeing growth of CNG use in their market as a result of this technology. The industry's worked for um, a couple of decades making fueling as easy as liquid fueling. Um, the connection is very easy to make on the vehicle. The process for authorizing a card, a credit card, um, and lifting the pump handle are exactly the same with CNG as they are with liquid fuels. So um, when the station is properly designed, new equipment, uh, higher flow rates, the vehicle can be in and out um, in about the same period it would take with gasoline or diesel. If you have gas and electricity and roughly a 30 by 40 uh, footprint available, then you can pretty easily site the compressed natural gas fueling equipment. And then if you've already got fueling spaces, if you're a public fueling station and you're selling gasoline and diesel, the, uh, the dispenser, the compressed natural gas dispenser, can go in uh, the same area as the, as the liquid fuels, subject to local codes. I think CNG is safe. With any, um, anything that's under pressure, you'd need to treat it respectfully. Uh, you have your vehicles worked on by licensed mechanics the same way you would with uh, any other fuel system. There's four types uh, of NGV tanks. Uh, classified as a type one, uh, which is a complete steel tank. Uh, type two uh, will be a steel or aluminum wrapped, carbon wrapped uh, tank. Type 3 is a steel liner with a composite wrap. Type 4, as you see here, that we use here at OEM, uh, is a plastic liner uh, that's capped, completely sealed plastic liner, and then wrapped with a carbon fiber complete wrap. In the event of overpressure into the tank, uh, whether it be a fill uh, or heat, it will release through the uh, PRD. The operating pressure of these tanks are 3,600 PSI. Uh, if the device seize pressure get over 4,500 PSI, it will actually release and vent it to the atmosphere. Also as a benefit of these, inside this pressure release, there is a uh, heat disc that will burst if it get over 255 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, in case of an engine or a fire, uh, any kind of extreme heat, uh, it will also release. Cummins has an 8.9 liter engine that's been on the market for years and it's really proven very reliable in, in applications from refuse to transit buses. I understand that Cummins will have an, a heavier, larger engine um, coming in the next couple years. I believe Alpha testing is coming soon. But there are also companies, uh, even based out of the Dallas-Fort Worth area, like ESI that have heavy-duty engines that are good replacements for Detroit diesels in uh, beverage trucks and those sorts of applications. So delivery vehicles that drive a lot of miles, use a lot of fuel, but return to base every night are a great application for natural gas. We're really excited about what's happening in the central United States. Uh, Oklahoma has really been growing over the last several years. Texas is starting to grow. Louisiana is getting its first stations. Um, and we see growth in Arkansas. Um, our traditional markets, like New York and California, are also strong. And then uh, there's new markets uh, popping up almost every place where natural gas is available. In summary, natural gas is clean, it's domestic, it's abundant, and it can save most fleets, most businesses, and soon consumers a lot of money on their fuel. Learn more about the technology behind CNG. Visit cngnow.com.